Under attack from a new threat, southern African states are circling the wagons to fight the four army worm. The herbivorous insects have been rapidly making their way across the region, eating up maize on their path. South Africa has reported infestation in six provinces. Over 130,000 hectares of maize have been affected in Zambia. Farmers in all of Zimbabwe's 10 provinces have been hit. And that's not all. From the reports presented, seven countries have so far confirmed the pest infestation, which is almost more than 70% of the population of Southern Africa. And this within two months of 2017. I am therefore greatly concerned that it is only a matter of time before most of the region is actually affected. And even more concerned that the pest is here to stay. Unlike the African armyworm, which has been combated, little is known about the full armyworm, except that it originated from the Americas. It hides itself in the stem of the maize, making it harder to detect, and is more resistant to pesticides than other pests. For that reason, experts have set research as the first step in defending the region. FAO is committed to support countries in close collaboration with SADC, OIE, IRCOSA and other partners and stakeholders to implement the necessary assessment activities to understand the extent and intensity of the pest problem in the region to better inform our efforts and effectively mobilize the required resources in terms of both human expertise and financial layouts. Based on estimates from areas where the worm is endemic, the costs of fighting the voracious feeders could run into hundreds of millions. Most SADA countries are recovering from the most severe drought in two decades. Infestation of the full army worm threatens to leave communities food insecure again and affect their livelihoods. If uncontrolled, there are fears that trade in crops and foodstuffs from the region could be restricted due to potential contagion spread. Farai Makutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.